Welcome to another edition of the Mastermind Book Club. Tonight we're going to talk about Thinking the Fourth Dimension, which is by Neville Goddard. In this book, it talks to you about the I am. You cannot say I am with, for someone else. You can only say I am for yourself. So I am great. I am love. I am happy. I am healthy. I am wise. You can only say I am for yourself. Uh, one good thing that I, I love about this book, it goes into biblical parables. It tells about one of the stories where there was a lady who had an issue of blood. And something I never, in, in my favorite book, I've read this story many, many times. And the lady with the issue of blood, she pressed through the crowd. Because when you had an issue of blood, you were an unclean woman. But she pressed through the, cloud, the crowd and she touched the master's hem, the hem of his garment. And she was made whole. And in a crowd of people, the master said, who touched me? And his disciples who were around him said, there, there are many, many people around. Anyone could have touched you. But he said, someone touched me with virtue. And get this. That lady was not on the master schedule. He was he was on his way to heal and raise a little girl who had died. But she knew he was passing by. And she said if she could just touch the hem of his garment, she would be healed. And the thing of it is, is that with that issue of blood, what the book gave me was another insight to the story that she couldn't have a child because of that blood issue because she wasn't whole. And we, we all thought that she was healed, which was wholeness, but she could not bear forth fruit. She could not have a child. So just to make the long story short, when you, when you seek this uh, fourth dimension or God or the God within you, the I am, it can really change your life to, to bring out the fullness of the life that you seek for yourself. Thank you. I'll introduce Reggie. <laughs> Charles. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, the next would be Reggie Hilliard. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> so touching on, uh, expounding on, or adding to what Charles was speaking to, in this book by Neville Goddard, what I liked about the book was the whole concept of getting out of perception that we have to get into the perception of who God is. Because we tend to think of like how we think and how we see the world and how things are what, the way we think they are, but ultimately it's not that. It's something greater than that. It's much more than that. It's actually a God instance, a God form, a God light, a God being. And we have to get into that state of God in order to be able to realize who we really are, what we really are, what it really is, all of it. So once we're able to lay aside the way that we perceive things, getting out of our concepts and conceptions of the way things are and step into the light and step into the reality of the way things are, we can then realize life is all of what it is in its fullness and be able to create, be, live, exist, thrive, and everything else and all that we are able to do just by stepping into the light of uh, uh, the, the fullness of who God is. And I'll start with that. Awesome, Rich. Uh, I, I thank you. Uh, David, are you going to say a couple words? about? Yes, the, I just, uh, just want to say that this book, the title says it all, Thinking Fourth Dimensionally. At times, we wish we had this or that, or we would like to be this way or that. Sometimes we're ill, and all we need to do is think about being healed. Sometimes we're broke, no money, and all we need to do is think about money. Unfortunately, our society has inset upon us to think negatively first. What do we gain? By thinking negatively first, not much. So the next time that you think you're going to have a fast food meal, I mean, as long as you're not doing it every day, I'd say once in a while, it's okay. So you don't have to think the worst of it because I've heard people say, oh, I know I'm not healthy, but I'm still going to eat this. Why would you say that? Although I'm eating this, I know I'm going to be healthier once. If you understand what I mean, 
thinking fourth dimensionally calls us to have a positive view on all aspects of our lives, as well as what Charles and Reggie mentioned. Thank you, Charles. Thank you, David. And thank you for, for your comments, recognizing the God within you, the <clears throat> next dimension of your life begins with now. All right, this has been Charles Comer, Reggie Hilliard, and CEO David Diaz for another edition of the Mastermind Book Club. Thank you.